Mark, you started your career off in Tennessee, spent a little time in Vegas, and now you're here in Atlanta. Michael 10, Michael to the 5. Touchdown, Atlanta. He'll move the pocket to the left, has an alley, turns the corner, and hits the pylon. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tell me about the last couple months and what that journey has been like. Yeah, really, for a couple years, it was a good reset. Um, when I left Tennessee, I was pretty beat up, kind of mentally and physically. Um, but I'm excited to be here now, yeah. and I'm excited to be part of this team, this young team. Um, Coach Smith, I think, is getting everybody going in the right direction, and um, I just can't wait for the season. Snap to Mariota. Looks left, going to throw, and Alameda Zacchaeus on a streak on the back line of the end zone, hauls in the touchdown. Yeah, your coaches, you mentioned Coach Smith, he talked about changing the culture around here. And I know culture is big everywhere around the league, but in this culture, in this locker room, what, what do y'all want that culture to look like? A winning attitude, man. And it takes it one day at a time, really. Like, I think some people get so caught up in what's going on in the future and you know maybe what they've done in the past. Right. Um, you know, Art always talks about kind of staying present, being in the moment. And if we can do that and kind of build one day after another, I think we'll like where we're at. Yeah, you got some pretty big targets in, in receivers. You got Kyle Pitts, Drake London. The, the new addition, the new rookie that you're going to take up under your wing. Like, how does it feel to have those big targets and how do you plan on using them? Man, it makes my life easy. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you know it, right? Like, you get big targets like that, you don't got to be perfect. Um, and I think as I'm watching these guys grow, I think it's pretty cool because they're learning to create separation. Right. And, um, you know, with their frames, with their athletic ability, they just, they can do a lot of things with the ball in their hand. They can do a lot of things. You can do a lot of things being a dual threat quarterback. And I know you're going to use that ability to the best of your ability. How do you plan to attack defenses this year along with the passing game and the run game? Just creating advantages, like you said. I think it, it starts with um, you know being efficient as the quarterback, completing the ball, being the, the point guard. And then from there, sometimes you got to take it to the hole yourself. And um, you know I'm excited about that. I think we've got a good plan. And, you know, wherever I can, I can be. I can whatever I can do to make this team work and make this offense run. I'm gonna do. You're probably one of the fastest guys on the field. When you step out there. Do you see this transition uh, taking on a life of its own? And and do you embrace being a dual threat? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it it creates advantages for you as an offense. Yes. Um, you know, I, it used to be where you're under center. It's it's 10 on 11 really because right. the quarterbacks hand the ball off. You're not really doing much. But now you get an opportunity to play true 11 on 11 with a guy that can run and. Um, you know, it makes it tough on defenses. So, um, you know, it's been, for me, it's been fun to be a part of it. Um, you know, it's a trend that started, you know, when you were playing. And, um, you know, it's just cool to kind of see the evolution. Of it. Yeah, my coach used to always say, when they play man coverage, they can cover everybody, but they can't cover <laughs> exactly, you. Exactly, so no doubt. Always remember that. coming near side, keeping the football. Go, Mike Vick! This is over! It's over! Yes. I look around the locker room, I look at the practice, and I don't see a lot of familiar faces. And I look at some of the guys who've been here for a while, but you are among the leaders on this team now. It's not a plan. You have to embrace that role. And, and what is that going to look like for you? Do it feel good? Do you feel comfortable in that role now? Absolutely. Um, and it comes on just being yourself. Right. Um, you know, I think guys can relate to you a little bit better. I think people can catch on to kind of a fake a fraud type of deal. Yeah. So I just try to be myself, yeah. um, lead where I can. Um, I do, I love communicating with our receivers, making sure we're all on the same page. Um, and then just setting the standard. I think if you're out there and you're putting the extra work, you're doing the extra time, I think those guys kind of buy into that. Yeah. I don't know why they mic me up. I'm not very good content. <laughs> hey, this is what it's about. Atlanta, the city of Atlanta has great culture. And you know, I know you guys spend a lot of time together what, what's some of your favorite places you done visited so far? <laughs> some of your favorite restaurants you done ate at? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been, we've been to Frankie's Steakhouse, which has been dope. Uh, we took the receivers there um, a few months back. Went down to um, Umi Sushi, I think it was called. That was, that was great. Fire. Good, pretty I, good. I, you know, you I'm, not gonna lie, you I'm not going to lie, being from an island in the middle of the Pacific, and then you come to a state that's you know pretty landlocked, yeah. um, that fish was solid. You wanted to be fresh. Yeah. Was it fresh? No but uh, those two spots were good. At the end of this 2022 season, and, and you look back on it, what did you want the, the message to read, you know, from Marcus Mariota on down on that roster? I think it comes down to you're gonna find a group of guys that not only believe in each other, but got a winning attitude, man, that, that believe in what's being built here. Um, there's gonna be ups and downs, we know that, right. but it's being able to, to withstand those storms and uh, dust yourself off and get ready for the next one, because I think 
as a young team, um, you know, it can be pretty special. I'm glad you're here where you're at now, bro, and uh, I'm so excited to watch you this year, and uh, I'm glad you're getting a second shot at it because I know what that really means, to have another chance to do it again and, and have a team that you call your own, so embrace it, and I'll, I'll be rooting. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike.